Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a cauldron locked door. Now this is very simple and basically how it works is um, you have to have specific levels on these three cauldrons here and once they're at their correct level, the door will open. So this one is two levels, this one has to be three and then this one has to be completely empty. And as you can see, the door is now open, and this could lead to maybe a potential room where you store your valuables, or it could be just like a, a secret entrance to a, um, a room in your base, whatever you like, it's up to you. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to build this today. Actually, before we start, I just want to mention a video you guys should check out. It's 10 redstone contraptions that you should build. So basically, it's 10 of my most favorite redstone contraptions that I've done in these redstone tutorials. And it's basically all put into one video. So if you are new, um, check it out because maybe there's something you haven't seen um, that I've done a tutorial on. But anyway, let's get into this tutorial. So what you're going to need is 32 redstone dust. Now, this is actually a maximum. We might not actually use all of this today. We're also going to need five redstone torches, three redstone repeaters, three redstone comparators, one iron door, three cauldrons, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is place down our cauldrons. So what we need to do is we need to simply place one down, leave a space, place another one, leave another space, and place our last one down like so. Then behind the cauldrons, we're going to build a wall. Now behind the wall, in line with the cauldrons, we're going to place a redstone comparator facing away. Now these redstone comparators will pick up the water level of the cauldrons. Now we're going to configure what the water level has to be of each cauldron for the door to unlock and it is very simple. One block basically means one water level so uh, we might make this first one here two water levels so we'll just dig out two blocks. This next one we're going to make three and this last one we're going to make one. Now simply place redstone down in those holes and then we're going to place blocks covering up the top of it. On top of those blocks place redstone as well and then at the end place your redstone torches. Then what we're going to do is dig out two blocks so one under the torch and then one um, further so one there and then one more so do that for each one and then under the redstone torch you want to place a piece of redstone dust and then in the last um, slot here we want to place a redstone repeater which is facing away now what we want to do is we want to connect the power of all these three repeaters to a single piece of redstone line so we're going to just place it um, we're going to start at this end one here so this repeater is going into that block there so we're going to start at that block then we're going to get in line with this uh, second one here and then we're going to bring the signal back down so um, it's connected to this repeater here and this one's connected because that repeater is going into that block and then what we're going to do is come one to the right there and then we're going to simply place a block down and put a redstone torch on the front face like that and this is basically our output now so we're going to connect this up to a door so what we'll do is we'll simply we'll place the door we'll place the door here and what we're going to do is build a trench down underground so we're just going to dig one and one under the torch there then two down oops and then keep digging into your um, one block before the door uh, what we're actually going to do is dig the block under it and we're actually going to dig the block so we're going to break the door <laughs> but anyway uh, you want to come to the front of this trench here and place one block um, in the second row here and then place a uh, redstone torch on the front face and then on top of it place um, you know, just a block and then you want to place your iron door on top of this block here but you want to make it so it's sideways like that initially 
um, and you'll see why in a second here. And then simply come back here and I'm going to place redstone under this torch here and then stop when you get to this block and this block here is where that redstone torch under it is connected to so when this is powered it's going to turn off that torch underneath. Now as I said in the ingredients list that there is going to be some redstone left and this is just because um, it really depends on your configuration of the water level so if all cauldrons were set to three, three water levels for the door to unlock then we would actually be using all of the redstone but because we've set this one to two, three and then one uh, we're not actually and then we're just going to simply put some uh, blocks on that side and then as you can see that door should just update and close. Now believe it or not that is actually it. What we're going to do now is quickly test it out. So the first one has to be two water levels, the next one has to be three and then the last one has to be one water level. So let's go ahead and let's get out a bucket now. So we're going to fill these completely up. and then we're going to get some bottles out so this first one has to be two levels, now it's already three levels so we're just going to take one off there and that equals two this one has to be three so we're not going to change anything at all but then this last one has to be one level so we're going to take two off that and as you can see the door has now opened and then you can also cover this up as well um, just make sure you don't cut off the redstone back there now real quickly, I just want to show you guys what you would do if you wanted to set it so there has to be no water in the cauldron at all. So it's really simple, so we're just going to modify this one here. So basically you just want to place one block down, and then you won't have to place this redstone and redstone torch um, there. All you simply have to do is place a bit of redstone dust under the block, and then you want to bring this repeater back so it is um, connected to that single piece of redstone dust and then simply just connect it to that redstone string or redstone line there and then as you can see when we actually take out a um, or take out all the water from this cauldron here the door will now open. Now in the last tutorial I forgot to tell you guys how the contraption works so I'm going to make sure that I do it in this one today so it's very simple so let's just go and start with this cauldron here so basically we put in our water and behind here we've got a uh, redstone comparator and this is going to output a signal strength from 0 to 3 so because um, we've got two levels of water in here that's going to output two redstone signal so basically when we output two redstone signal it's going to power these two um, redstone at the top here and once it gets to the end here it's going to turn off this redstone torch but the thing is is if we actually take, if we were to take one, um, if we were to take a piece of uh, one water out, one water level out of here, it's not going to reach the end here, which then turns on this redstone torch, turning on all this redstone wire here, and that basically closes the door. If we actually create three water levels, um, as you can see, that would cover up the top here because we got one, two, and three, so that would definitely make it to this last one here. But if it's three levels, it's going to power this redstone here and before as I mentioned if this basically is powered it's going to keep the door closed so um, you can't have one more or one less of the redstone it has to be exactly uh, or has to be the exact water level for the door to open and then these here are just basic inverters so when all this um, redstone signal is turned off because right now we're, we've unlocked we've opened the door up this redstone torch is going to turn on which then causes that redstone torch under the bottom there to turn off and therefore opens the door. So that's going to wrap up this tutorial today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out that video I also mentioned at the start because it's basically 10, con 10 of my favorite contraptions that I think you guys should definitely build and maybe um, you're new to this channel and you haven't seen the rest of my redstone tutorials. That would be a great video um, for you to check out. But anyway, make sure you remember to like this video. If you have any suggestions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I know a lot of you guys are suggesting elevators, and I'll see if I can do something. But if you have another idea, definitely let me know in the comments. And also subscribe if you want to see more of these redstone tutorials. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.